At the heart of Indochina lies one of its wildest countries, Thailand. Home to a diverse array of habitats, where remarkable animals have evolved to cope with its ever-changing landscape. From ancient rainforests to hostile coastlines, Thailand has some of the most prolific environments on the planet. It's a world of extremes, where primordial beasts roam a desert of darkness. Monsters of the deep loom, and apex predators stalk in lush grasslands. Where jungle giants help shape forests, and evolutionary tricks mean Thailand's creatures have become nature's survivors. Thailand is a country of extremes, a land shaped by wild forces where animals face tough challenges. With one of the most diverse climates in Southeast Asia, an array of habitats have grown. They foster a remarkable variety of species. But to survive has meant adapting and evolving. With nearly 300 mammal species roaming this rich land, some creatures have to battle against each other. But all have to cope with hostile environments. Surrounded by four countries and buffered by two seas, Thailand is a melting pot for wildlife from across the region. And with a range of climates and varied geography, it is a biodiversity hotspot. In the south, tropical rainforest, said to be older than the Amazon, hides primeval cave systems. And in the north, the last foothills of the Himalayas give way to highland plains. Altitude shows another side to Thailand. Reaching over a thousand meters, the northeastern hills are a far cry from the sun-soaked beaches. For one animal, the crisp morning provides an essential time to feed. The cool, dry season is a time for hog deer to stock up. In a matter of months, temperatures will soar and food will be scarce. Despite rarely being found in hilly environments, they have adapted to Thailand's cold upland plains. Their success is down to timing. Capable of producing at least three fawns in two years, they can coincide it with the growth of new fresh shoots. With vulnerable young and pregnant females, survival here relies on a lot more. Their powerful sense of smell, sight and hearing are essential. If they catch a whiff of trouble, they'll bolt and wary they should be.
top of the food chain and built for a life of ambush attacks. The Indochinese tiger also thrives here. It's thought to be home to the largest number of these beasts in the world. He's evolved perfectly for this habitat. His striped markings likely help camouflage him, turning into a world of confused lines. But hog deer are ever vigilant. So possibly his most important asset is surprise. Only one out of every 10 to 20 attacks results in a kill. So the odds are still stacked against him. Island plains make an unpredictable playing field. Caution is essential for hog deer to survive Thailand's wild arenas. The patchwork of seasonal forest in Thailand's north is a diverse world, where creatures have also adapted to survive. Defense for a leaf insect comes from mimicking his background. But not everything is as it seems. And the giant stick insect also uses this tactic. This harmless herbivore can take life at a more sedate pace. And is always primed to eject any unwanted travelers. Life on the forest floor is a more hostile world, where sometimes even the best camouflage isn't enough. Preying on living insects, the dead leaf mantis is always on the lookout for a meal. But there is trouble on the horizon. Wandering into another mantid's patch comes with a risk they are highly territorial. Able to strike faster than the blink of a human eye. It's a battle of nerve. Cannibalism is common, and nothing will go to waste. Within minutes, scouting ants join him. They too are after a piece of the action. It's a race against time, as food is literally taken from his mouth. Survival depends on finding food, and for the ants, it means working together.
Down here, creatures must grab what they can, when they can. The forest floor is an unpredictable arena for plant life, too. Trees constantly compete for light, water and nutrients. But the strangler fig avoids such problems by using other trees to give it a head start in life. In their canopy, it gathers nutrients from the sun and rain, sending out aerial roots, which engulf the host and eventually kill it. Up here, every patch is accounted for, and the kings of the canopy like to stake their claim. La Gibbons do this by calling. They're a tight-knit family and totally committed to each other. Bringing up their youngster is a full-time job in this high-rise home. Having successfully woken the neighbors, they need to feed, and so they head for a fruiting tree. Like gymnasts, they use their body weight to propel themselves. Their ability to totally rotate their shoulder joint means swinging holds more sway. With no need for a tail to balance on top of branches, they swing underneath, hand over hand, through their canopy kingdom. Fruit makes up at least half their diet, so a fig tree is a magnet. It's a hub for others too. And soon enough, an Assamese macaque joins the fruity feast. And where there's one, there's usually a troop not far behind. With mornings only a little above freezing, their thick fur keeps them snug. Living in a large troop has its benefits in this unforgiving forest. They spread out further whilst foraging and have more pairs of eyes to spot potential danger. But it also brings its own political tensions. The mating season is in full swing and male macaques are constantly looking for new mates. the dating game in the macaque world isn't straightforward. Acquiring a female in a hierarchy can be a risky business. If you lower down the pecking order, then she's already accounted for. For some males, it pays to have allies, and they form coalitions to help secure a mate. Guarded by his wingman, a mid-ranking male mates with the top alpha female. It could be risky if others spot him, but worse, the alpha male catches him. Another male tries to interfere, so his teammates rally. Keeping other males in check maintains his position. But for youngsters, it's about play rather than politics.
The hilltop spa helps cool things down. But even this play helps form important bonds and relationships. With a large troop, they have plenty of playmates and watchful adults. For here, they can never relax for too long. The forest is also home to a silent assassin. The King Cobra is a predator of many habitats across Thailand and packs enough venom to kill a fully grown Asian elephant. Tasting the air, he searches for prey. Despite this forest hunter only having a taste for other reptiles, the macaques can't take chances. And vigilance pays off. Living in groups, macaques carve out their survival. But further south in Thailand, it's like another world with even more at stake. Thailand's landscape transforms into an ancient world as the country heads south. Around five million years ago, sea levels fluctuated and formed a geographical bottleneck, the Isthmus of Kra. At its narrowest point, it's merely 40 kilometers across, and mountain peaks dominate the skyline to this region. These cast limestone mounds reach nearly a thousand meters in places and once formed part of a reef spanning from Borneo to southern China. The tropical climate has also given rise to a rainforest believed to be the oldest on Earth. As one of the wettest areas in Thailand, waterways have carved out habitats where only the most specialized creatures can survive. Underground caverns with organ-like structures mark the gateway to another world. It offers a daytime sanctuary for roosting bats. But it also brings in their predators a cave racer snake is hunting. And she has a taste for these flying mammals. Finding a suitable ledge, she lies in wait, ready to pick them off during their nightly exodus. Primordial monsters also roam this desert of darkness and have taken adaptation to extremes. Without light, eyesight is almost obsolete, 
so the whip spider is a perfect predator for the dart. Possessing only six legs, the fourth pair have evolved into whips that sweep his environment. Equipped with thousands of sensory organs, they can detect the slightest movement as he searches for his prey. A cave cricket. He too is searching for food. But it's a dangerous game when your nemesis is hunting you down. Nervously probing his way. It's like a game of cat and mouse. But he stumbled into a cricket corral. These primordial predators surround the crickets and move in for the kill. Senses have to be finely tuned to survive here. And in the surrounding ancient rainforest, they are equally critical. The clouded leopard is a skillful but secretive predator. She has an arsenal of senses, able to see six times better than humans at night. She's also armed with extremely accurate 3D vision that helps gauge distance of prey in the canopy. Hearing and smell are just as important for her. And she's constantly alert to the sounds of the jungle. But this master of the shadows isn't hunting. She has other priorities. Scent marking. It's an ideal form of communication for these largely solitary cats. Marking her territory, she also leaves a signal to any potential mate. For the male, patrolling his patch and leaving his mark is also essential. Not only is it precious hunting ground, more than half of his territory overlaps with female ranges. Rubbing up against branches helps secrete scent from glands in his face. And using this technique, he may find a mate. Survival doesn't just come from being an efficient hunter. Breeding is also critical, and the clouded leopard's senses are vital. But with numbers dwindling in the wild, how they select each other isn't clear. These elusive cats still hide many secrets. Like the clouded leopard, the diversity of the flora and fauna in the area is yet to be fully understood. But one thing is for sure. Jungle giants stamp their mark on it. Known as mega herbivores, Asian elephants certainly have a mega appetite. Feeding on more than 60 species of plants in some places, they are the gardeners of this forest. Their healthy appetite means they disperse seeds from many plants.
but they aren't careful cultivators. They are extreme landscapers. Stripping leaves and felling trees, they are habitat shapers. Pruning as they roam and allowing plants to grow back stronger and thicker than before. More sunlight accesses the ground and grasses grow, creating new homes for other animals and plants. Using power and strength, they transform their habitat and help sustain ecosystems as they roam. But it's not just in the landscape where these jungle giants have made their mark. Elephants have also had an impact on ancient cultures. Ayatoya was a stronghold of the Siamese kingdom. The elephant's Buddhist significance cemented their place in both ceremonies and temple architecture. But their great strength, longevity, and ability to learn also made them valuable beasts of burden. Lying in the heart of this region, Ayatoya connected east and west as a center of economics and trade. Defending it was strategically critical for the empire. Their size and power were harnessed to wage war on opponents, and elephants became the tanks of this time. Thailand's treetops are also home to another habitat shaper. A colony of fruit bats are beginning to wake. Despite the racket, some still manage to find time for a lie-in. These nocturnal fruit raiders make their mark on Thailand's forests by dispersing up to 60,000 seeds from their food each night. Clinging to their high-rise home, their days are spent resting before a night of feasting. But it's easier said than done here, and noisy neighbors lead to heated disputes. With all this hot air, 
It means they have to find ways to keep their cool. Wing flapping and body licking help regulate their temperature. As the sun begins to set, they appear to refocus their energies on the night of feeding. Taking flight to spread more seeds and pollinate Thailand's forests. Some help to shape Thailand's habitats. For others, the habitat has shaped them. These botanical amphibians are among the most productive and biologically complex ecosystems on Earth. Mangroves are constantly in a state of flux. As the tide changes, they and the wildlife have had to adapt. Submerged twice a day in deadly salt water, most plants would die. But they filter out as much as 90% of this salt. And by growing vertical roots, they take in needed oxygen from the atmosphere. Sediment and nutrients from upstream collects, and their trunks and branches serve as nature's own seed defense. Defense is the name of the game if you're a mud crab living here. Spotting trouble is no problem, but meeting a fellow crab can be. Cannibalism is their biggest cause of death. His suit of armor isn't just for defense. It also prevents him from drying out. Keeping his gills moist, it enables him to breathe whilst in water and on the land. But equally matched, it's a battle not worth fighting. After all, surviving in one of Thailand's most changeable environments brings many challenges of its own. Sheltered root systems act as nurseries for fish. But this also provides an opportunity for an aerial predator. The Brahmini kite is king of these skies and an opportunist. He surveys the water from mangrove hunting perches in search of a meal. But it's on the wing where he really comes into his own. Dropping from the sky, he tries his luck.
But even for elite aerial commandos, fish are sometimes just too fast. The people of Indochina have also faced similar challenges. The fine balance between climate, geography and wildlife has created complex habitats. Local people have become part of this relationship and the mangrove provides an essential source of food for them. This has led to an almost symbiotic partnership with the Brahmini kite. Lacking the kite's vision and speed, he lays his net where these birds have been spotted. The mangrove acts as an anchor as he sets his trap. Slowly drifting, the net encircles fish. Nothing will go to waste here. Kites are not only commanders of the sky, they are also masters of opportunity. spreads fast on the wing, and these normally solitary birds flock in their hundreds. Eye coordination has never been more important as they hurtle towards each other. Circling and spotting, others drop from the sky. They know it's a race against time before this free meal sinks and becomes reclaimed by the mangrove that helped nurture it. These mangrove waters have proved a rich source of food, but are also directly linked to the diversity of the seas. And in some parts of the world, there are as many as 25 times more fish on reefs close to mangrove areas. Thailand's coastal waters are bordered by a range of extreme habitats. Rocky shores barricade idyllic islands that pepper the sea. But paradise hides some of the most challenging environments. This island is home to a troop of inventive castaways.
long-tailed macaques forage for their survival. But not being too picky, they will eat what is available, an adaptability that is crucial on a small island. But the troop aren't the only castaways here. A monitor lizard also roams, and this carnivore is always looking for a quick bite. Venturing to the shore may be a safer bet and provide another opportunity for the troop to feed. Primed and ready, they sit waiting. But to feast here, they've had to learn to read the tides, for out there are precious parcels of protein. Fed by two oceans, the Pacific and Indian, Thailand's waters support a tenth of the world's marine fish. The Andaman Sea and Gulf of Thailand buffer the country, and coral reefs form the basis of complex ecosystems. covering an area 24 times the size of Manhattan. They are refuges in the ocean's desert and able to support up to 4,000 individual species. These waters are also perfect for microscopic organisms called plankton which form a staple food for many fish. Of all shapes and sizes. And that includes the world's biggest fish, a monster of the deep, the whale shark. migrating through the oceans. Where they go and come from is still unclear. But here they make the most of plankton blooms. Escorted by remora fish that clean them, hoovering up any parasites. With mouths over a meter wide, these sharks could devour most fish but it's the smallest creatures that they feed on. Tens of thousands of plankton are ingested in one gulp. Baitfish are schooling for protection as yellowfin tuna attack. Safety in numbers is usually a good defense out here. But emerging from below, the whale shark heads straight for them. It's not just plankton that he feeds on. Like those on land, the creatures here must make the most of any opportunity to survive. And as the tides shift, so must he, to search for more food.
Back on land, the tide recedes and reveals another opportunity, this time for island castaways. To conquer the challenges of their habitat, these long-tailed macaques have had to use evolutionary intelligence. Along this rocky coastline lie succulent shellfish for them to harvest. But everything here comes heavily armoured. Strong jaws try to prise open some of the mollusks. Others have decided slamming clams against rocks is the only option. But these techniques are slow, and with the tide changing, time is certainly against them. To make the most of this hearty meal, a new strategy is called for. Stone tools. Collected from the shore, these long-tailed macaques have learned to use stones as we would hammers or axes. The troop forage individually, tirelessly chipping away throughout the rock pools. The low tide exposes oysters but the difficulty here is also prizing them away. Depending on the type of mollusk, he appears to actually select the best stone from his palate. For oysters, longer pointed stones provide accurate and targeted pressure. For clams, a flatter, heavier stone is needed to pound the shell. This extraordinary behavior has only ever been witnessed in a handful of primates. These macaques literally carve out their success in Thailand's armored coastline. Where the natural world is left to forge its survival, extraordinary adaptations, behavior, and evolutionary tricks occur. The fine balance between life and death is constantly played out in Thailand's diverse habitats. From the far north to extreme south, 
Climate and geography creates ancient rainforests. Cool highland plains. And ever-changing coastlines. Harboring iconic predators and inventive scavengers, these worlds bring constant challenges. Those who adapt reap the rewards and have become nature's survivors.